I've been given this old chainsaw. It's got no spark and the owner couldn't fix it so he's given it to me. It's a cheap brand, Warrior, um, but it's got a an Oregon bar on it which are uh, quite good quality so I'll have a wee play with it and see if I can get it going. I see he has bypassed the switch or something. He reckons it's the coil that's, uh, that's gone. I see there's plastic fake screws along the side there. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. But anyway, we'll um, pull it apart and see if we can get it going. Reasonable compression there. These cheap Chinese saws have pretty sloppy tolerances, so they're never really that, that great from the factory. Unlike the stills and the huskies. But they do go alright when they are running. We'll see if it sparks. First of all, no spark whatsoever. All right, I'll try this plug. I know that's a good one. No, nothing there. So. Yeah, I think it's possibly the coil, so we're going to have to dig a bit deeper there, I think. Right. Okay. See that? Even that there is quite loose on there. It's not very tight at all. That could be part of the problem. Try that again. at all. I think it's probably that coil. So we'll see if I've got another one lying around. I just happened to have another one here which blew up. The coil does look quite similar. So we'll see if that one fits. I'll take that switch as well because the other one's missing. They actually almost look identical when you look at the carburetors and the, the heads and everything. Basically the same machine, just with a different brand name. Which is kind of good when you're swapping parts. Basically the same thing. Alright, I found a problem here. You can see that piece has broken off of the housing. There's a little bit of a casting there that's come away and that goes on there. So that was only holding on by one bolt. I should be able to get a nut on the other side of that. 
I think there's enough room in there to get a nut on. Okay, All right, I just have to put a nut on there. Right, I've found a slightly longer bolt which will go all the way through and a nut. Just touching that flywheel. So it's a slightly different size. Okay. Yeah, you can see it's rubbing just down there, so I'll get the file and take a little bit off that. good just clearing it now right let's see if that sparks yep I don't know if you can see it but that is sparking so that should go now we'll put it all back together and see what it does That's sounding pretty decent actually, but there's no oil coming out of the oiler, so... Beautiful. Sounding pretty good, it's oiling well. Clean up and um, see how she cuts. I want to make sure these oil holes are clear. Otherwise, the chain won't get any oil. I don't think it's actually done a huge amount of work. This saw it's still on the original chain. dodgy air filter set up on some of these things you got to get them sitting right so they're sealing properly otherwise the dust goes around the outside of it that seems okay
Oh well, there's nothing much wrong with that. It's uh, running perfectly now. It's a good little starter as well. I don't think it's uh, done a lot of work really. So that was a nice easy fix. All it needed was that uh, coil. Job done. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.